What's up, YouTube? It's Julius. I know a lot of people have been asking me about my Abilify experience. Abilify is really popular, um, surprisingly, which, like, I hated it. Um, but a lot of people want to know about it. So I figured, you know, why not make a video? Because I, like, you know, I was on Abilify, so I can actually talk about it more. And I only really talked about my beginning experience with it. Currently, I'm not on Abilify. I am on Lithium, though, however. So I actually really, really like Lithium. Um, it's had, like, its pros and cons, like any medicine. Um, but I actually prefer lithium a lot to Abilify. So I think like the first thing with Abilify that was just like, really just jumps out to me as being annoying. Um, it made me have to use the bathroom a lot, like a lot, a lot. Um, that was like the biggest side effect I think um, that bothered me considering that like I'm my bladder. I can, I have like a large bladder, <laughs> I guess, or like I can hold. Anyway, I don't go to the bathroom a lot. So like for me to have to go to the bathroom every 20 minutes and like, I like that was too much um, every 20 minutes like legit every 20 minutes every 15 to 20 minutes to the point where like I didn't even notice it at first and then I was like didn't I like just go to the bathroom like I haven't had anything to drink like this has to be the medication because I like just went to the bathroom so um that that happened over the holiday period I think but I still stayed on it and I think I even upped the dosage um and it was like a whole bunch of it was an insurance issue which also sucked because my insurance was like you can't up the dosage it's like it became like it was four bucks a pill and then all of a sudden it was like 150 dollars not pill sorry that's expensive four bucks like for a 30 day supply sorry my roommate is not here and I thought I heard something like four dollars for like a 30 day supply versus like 150 dollars or whatever so it became expensive, um, I still, but I still kept on doing it. I mean, I still kept on taking it. Um, and it wasn't like bad, like my Tegretol, which literally like had me break out. Um, but Abilify did like <laughs> make me kind of just like, eh. it made me not really feel a lot um, about life. It made me not like really feel excited about life, if that makes sense. Um, and like I didn't feel happy and I didn't feel depressed. I was just like, oh wow, this is life. This is, I guess, what like normal people feel, especially like I had just come off from being manic. Like, so um, it was actually this time <laughs> last year, um, I was like, didn't think I was manic, but I was like, I'm gonna do the whole no medication thing. Like, I don't wanna take any meds, I can control this. Not saying that you can't, uh, not saying that people can't. I personally right now cannot. I was super manic right now and then in November, um, I started rapid, rapid cycling for the first time and I was like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> um, this sucks. Um, and that's why I got on Bellify because that, yeah, y'all, y'all know how I feel about that. Um, so then I was on Bellify. So yeah, so like it was like working, I guess you could say. I was on that until like, I wasn't on that very long. So that's another part. Like I was on it for December and then like January and that's like it. And then I was like kind of like on and off. It was very weird. Um, so that's the other thing. Like I had these symptoms, I had these experiences. It did not, not I mean, it didn't make me depressed, but it also didn't make me happy, kind of like, but not in a good way. Um, but I also like wasn't on it that long. So it's like really hard for me to say like, you know, if I was on it for three months, maybe my experience would have been different. Um, also like it made me super tired all the time. Like, and my doctor said that it would go away. Like, you know, the first two weeks that you take it. So the first 14 days you'll feel maybe drowsy more than you would. But like, it was a different type of drowsy. Like I felt drowsy before. Like, it wasn't like, it wasn't like that. Like I lived at like the dinner table and I was so tired. And I was like, I don't know why. I think it was my anxiety that just didn't want to like tell my family. Cause it's like, I'm a grown, like I'm not a child. Like I should be able to stay awake at the dinner table. But I couldn't like tell them like, can I go to sleep now? It was like, I like wanted, I wanted to cry. It was so uncomfortable. It was the worst. And like to the point where like, it was so hard for me to stay awake that I was falling asleep. Like I could not control it. It sucked. So yeah, that was Abilify for me. Um, no, it did not cause me to break out into rashes and hives and all that jazz, like Tegretol. Um, but it didn't really help my mood that much and it had bad side effects. Lithium though, lithium. Yes, I love lithium. I think it is super helpful in terms of stabilizing my mood. Um, I was super skeptical of taking it first because like, there's so many like stories about lithium like messing you up and messing people up and it's a insanely powerful drug um but it is like also like i believe the cornerstone for like bipolar treatment um but people are moving away from it because it's messing people up so like you know i just wasn't that crazy about it uh, i really wanted to try some maybe newer drugs um you also have to get blood tests for lithium um and check your thyroid your white blood cell count all that jazz that doesn't sound fun um a lot of the research does say that like if i were to stay on lithium for the rest of my life, which as of right now, that's like 
what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> um, I can't. So like by the time I'm like 30-ish, I need to transition to another drug because that's when it starts, like it's the prolonged use like does start to mess up your body. And there's just so many things that they don't know. And that's like with any medication. But at the same time, this is just the research that I have done in my bed at night. Um, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> so, but no, I think lithium overall within, I started taking it in the spring, late spring, and I've been taking it since. Um, so I've been on it for like five months now, five, six months, maybe, maybe six months. I'm not good at math and I don't feel like doing it. Like, yeah, it's stabilized my mood, except for like, I've had little hiccups, um, either when like I'm not taking it because I skip a few days um or yeah that's like the only times i really have hiccups um or like when i'm just dealing with other stuff like the medicine doesn't fix you so like i've been dealing with a lot of like other attachment issues and like feelings of loneliness and all that stuff that like y'all can check out in my other videos um that doesn't like that really proved to me that like lithium does not like you know fix your issues it makes it easier to manage so like with lithium i was able to get through um the last for no the last well, i wish it was for the last eight weeks which have been pretty rough um and i haven't really had a rough period since last winter um but i was able to deal with them surprisingly like and deal with them on my own without like being at school like i'm like a real adult now so i have a good job i'm like living alone like love a roommate but you know like able to like not freak out and like literally have to go to the hospital and i think that's all like honestly due to lithium um right now i feel pretty stable um i was like hypomanic kind of earlier this month so like i could be manic now um but i honestly feel like how i did earlier this summer and i'm confusing happiness with like mania or maybe like it's all just a lie i don't know but i i guess the real test is like when we'll, we'll see like where it goes from here i'm I've been really really trying to take it every single day and not skip any days because that's when things get a little weird when i first started lithium um it was terrible because of the side effects um and i still have some of the side effects now um so i have trouble eating um i don't eat a lot um so and like it just makes me feel uncomfortable that's a whole other video that i have not done um but yeah so like you need to eat when you take lithium otherwise you'll puke um you'll get nauseous and like it just wrecks your stomach and it's like not like puking like you might think that like, yes, you've had the worst. <laughs> this is so disgusting. You might think that like you booted the worst like in college or like vomited the worst when you were like 21 or like 18, had your first shot. Like you might've thought all of that was terrible on lithium or like maybe other medications or like in the medication healthcare world. I can't imagine what people go through when they have chemo. Like I would thought like I was dying in the bathroom. Like I was throw like I, it was very bad. This was all just so sore. Um, I barely had any food to say like at all, but I was still like, you know, doing it and it was, it was bad. Um, and that happened almost like every night I was taking my medication. It didn't like, my doctor didn't really tell me, so that's a shame on him, um, for not telling me this because like, thanks. And like, they didn't like say it like inside any of the packets or anything like that. The only time they do say that, like if you're throwing up is lithium poisoning, um, or lithium, like your lithium levels are too high, that also could happen then, which has happened to me. So it's happened to me on an empty stomach. It's also happened to me like if I skip a few days and like my lithium levels can either dip or spike just because like, you know, it's not, it's like you have to take it every single day over a period of time or it doesn't work. Or like, you know, the way your lithium like just works. I think one time I actually took an extra like pill or two. I don't know, I think I was trying to take my medicine and I was not in the right mindset and I had forgotten and that was bad as well. So like, I like it overall. Like yes, I've had some hiccups, but like honestly, it's much better than rapid cycling, much better than being depressed much better than not being better not better than being manic but much better than the aftermath of being manic um so like obviously like, i don't really do recommendations on medication because that's weird it's like whatever works for you works for you and it sucks having to go through medication changes and like having to wait like months for something to work like believe me i'm still waiting for a medication for anxiety because my abuse power like did not work um so like i just spent like three months like trying it and it didn't work and I had to start somewhere else, but I have to get off of that medicine. Well, I've gotten off of it, but I have to now get stable on lithium again to try something else. So it's like super, super annoying. I understand that and I've been there. Um, before I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, um, like I had tried I literally every anxiety and depression med in the book. And which is why I'm really nervous because the doctor was like, well, we can't really like try anything else for you. We can try like an antidepressant, but like that could like, help you or like also seriously seriously mess you up because i hope this somewhat helps understand like why i left abilify and like sort of why i like lithium even though i have a love-hate relationship um if it was my choice i would not be taking any of these medications um but until then these help me manage not these abilify sucks um <laughs> lithium helps me manage free as always to like 
share, and please comment. I love to hear from y'all. And subscribe because you'll know when I'm uploading new videos and when new videos are coming. All right, y'all have a great week.